CPAC fans, thanks for joining me on this uh, once again Tuesday afternoon with uh, Mike Spriggs here at the CPAC here at the stadium. And so uh, we're going to review the Mechanicsburg game, preview the Allen East game, which will be Saturday night at 7. And then just a few a few things to uh, talk about before we get to the get to the review. So we'll start with that. Um, like to say thanks again. I think I did it earlier in the year, but I'm going to rethink them. Um, that's that's Tiff, our trainer. Shows up every day. She works for Wright State. She works for works for the hospital. She's our trainer. Been our trainer here for now eight, ten years, I think. Uh, multiple sports, back and forth from the school to the CPAC to games to scrimmages and. So it's a full, full time, year long job for Tiff to try to keep our guys healthy. And then Dr. Broering, who was, who was a young OIO, uh, young OIO uh, doctor, right? Orthopedic doctor. So he's really taking care of us this year, and we've had lots of issues. So he gets them in and gets them out, gets them checked out. Uh, he's actually I've worked with him here these last few months with some joint issues. So uh, very, very diligent on what he does and, and getting to us quick. and and uh, getting the treatments <laughs> and getting the MRIs and the x-rays and all that kind of thing. So thanks, thanks to those two. Uh, secondly, a shout out to, to some of the members of our team, not, not specific guys, but uh, to guys that you don't hear too much about, and those are our scout team guys and our special teams guys. And, and we, put a, we put a huge emphasis on, on special teams here, um, and, and, and that's won us lots of games. We've always had a really, really good kicker over since I've been here for at least 20 years. We've always had one of the best kickers in the league and, and uh, punters and, and with our punt team and punt return team and kickoff and kickoff return and then our PAT field goal team. Um, we take a, we take, you know, take a lot of pride in that and doing those well because we feel like, feel like that, that wins, you, wins you some games. So those special teams guys, we, we convince them or try to convince them that they're starters, even though some of them, some of them aren't starters. Some of them are sophomores, several sophomores and juniors that, that, uh, you know, our guys that you can trust and guys that, that you can tell are going to be good players, typically linebackers, fullbacks, outside linebackers, DBs, uh, receivers, those types of guys who can run and, and, uh, and kind of kind of kind of are good athletes that can handle the ball, things, things like that. So our special teams has been, has been excellent all year with a good kicker, a good punter. Uh, kickoff last week was huge for us. Uh, you know, the special teams right off the bat, we kicked. We kick our first three uh, kickoffs in the end zone with the wind. Um, and then they had to punt into the, they fumbled on the first drive, but they had to punt into the wind. We get the ball on, on their 40, something like that, 35 or 40. So special teams has really panned out uh, several, t several times for us <coughs> um, over the years. The other group that, that you really don't hear much about are our scout team guys. So scout teams means those are the younger guys that are going to, going to, uh, pretend like they're the other team's offense or defense during practice and, and the kicking game too. But So what we try to do to, to, to make, make those young guys at this point, because they're not playing any more games, so, so they, don't, they don't get a, get a lot of work, um, obviously, on, fr on Saturday nights. But, but uh, you know, they're still coming to practice and, and still working. And, and so what we try to do is we try to pump their tires and make them feel, feel, feel like it's an important part of, part of our team, which it is. Because when we have 75, 80 kids, uh, we can put a good scout, what we call a scout team out. You know, when we played Mechanicsburg last week, they have 30 guys on their team. So they don't have many guys to, to really put together a, a good scout team. So what we do, one of the things we do, and I think the kids enjoy this, is, you know, we, we uh, get the other team's personnel, and, and we have their numbers and their heights and weights, and then we try to match guys, especially with the skill guys, or especially guys that are, that are uh, you know, significant uh, keys, I guess, to what they're doing and where they line up and things like that. So last week, for example, Jack Ebbing was uh, number 33. So we, we take our number 33 jersey and put it on Jack. So he was the running back and middle linebacker. And, and so probably, I, well, I would say five or four, five, six positions, we try to match those numbers up to and, and by height and, and a little bit by size um, to, try to, to try to get the best look we can. Our guys will watch film today. And our scout team guys will watch their offensive line and defensive line. And so Allen East, for example, they don't, they don't get in a stance and put their hand on the ground, their offensive linemen. So that's how we're going to do it all week for the scout team. <laughs> so so there's, there's a lot of things there that, uh, that we can try to, try to uh, copy and emulate the team that we're playing. And, and of course, you know, as the teams get better, it's harder to do that. But at least, at least by numbers, by formations, uh, by the defensive looks, <laughs> 
and their blitzes and things like that. You know, our, our guys do a good job. We, we call them lemon heads because in practice, we have these yellow caps that go over your helmet so you can tell the difference because all our practice jerseys are white. So we, so we put, the, put, the, uh, put the, yellow hat, the yellow caps on our helmets. and So we call those uh, the lemon head guys. So, so much appreciated with those guys, and so they do a good job. So let's back up here a little bit to last Saturday against Mechanicsburg. They came in at 12-0, and and last year they came in at 11-0, I believe, into our stadium. But, uh, um, so the score ended up 42-6, to and, and like I kind of mentioned, with the special teams getting us off to a good start, uh, kicking the ball in the end zone, and we, uh, you know, we just got off to such a good, good, good first half with our, off, uh, with our defense stopping them, making a punt into the wind, causing a fumble on the first drive. Um, and then we, then we got two early scores and then got two, two at the end of the half to, to make it 28 uh, nothing at half. And so we just set a good, good clean game, especially in that first half. Uh, we did not turn the ball over. We created, I guess, I think we, we had an interception and a fumble recovery against them in the first half. And, and, and we, uh, I think we did punt one time. But, but otherwise, you know, we scored on, on four of those five drives and, and uh, felt, felt really good. Um, we spread the well. Tanner Mullenkamp had just an outstanding game for us, and he's played well all year. But, but, but the stuff that, that maybe the fans see that, that, uh, you know that, that we notice the stuff that the fans don't see. But, but he had two touchdowns. He had an interception, and so so did a lot of good, lot of good things to, uh, on both sides of the ball for Tanner. So that was that was a great, great night for him. So uh, we did score on our first drive in the second half, and then they they intercepted a pass and ran it 90 yards in the second half. But uh, but at that point, it was 35-7 in the fourth quarter, so, so the game was, was, was well in hand. So feel good about the game. Uh, Mechanicsburg had a good, good tough kids, uh, a lot of good wrestlers. Uh, you know, good, good, good. They've been good for several years, and, and uh, I guess it was our night. Uh, we, we played well and, and, and shut them down, so it was a good, good team effort. Looking ahead this week to Allen East, which the game is at uh, Sydney this week instead of Pickles, so very, very similar, very similar uh, location. Um, the stadium, again, is a real nice stadium, a little bit different. They do not have a track on their stadium, so it's a little bit closer. So I guess for the fans, it's, it's probably more enjoyable to be a little bit closer to the field. Alan East comes in at 10-3, uh, and 10-3. and three. So, so uh, they've won some good, good ball games in the playoffs. Uh, offensively, they have a, have a seems like the year of the uh, dual, of the dual quarterback, uh, run pass kind of quarterback kind of guys. And, and I would say that's the key to our defenses is to uh, prevent his scrambling. He's a good scrambler, can run and throw uh, pretty well. So we've got to keep our eyes on him. They go some one back and some two back, but, but, but a similar style, I guess, to us in, in the spread, although their quarterback is more of a runner, where our quarterback, I guess, is probably more of a thrower, and, and, and we utilize our other guys to, to run the ball a little bit more. Um, defensively, as we look back to teams we've played in the past, very, very similar to to uh, Coach Stokes when he was at Minster, uh, three three man front, three three man D line with five linebackers and and pretty much three deep the whole time. Now can they change that? Obviously, obviously they can change that, but that's what we've seen in their game. So hopefully we can find some things that, that we feel good about and that can work for us and that we can try to again uh, get different guys the ball at different times and different spaces and and uh, get some touchdowns. Obviously and and not turn the ball over has been our been uh, early. We've done a good job these last several weeks, but but for a while there we uh, we had some problems with some turnovers, and we've seemed to have corrected that. And hopefully that that uh, holds true on Saturday night. So so the game is at Sydney. I think we are the visitors again. So Saturday night, seven o'clock at Sydney versus Alan East, the Mustang.